Tip Tut. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tut. Um, today, we're looking at recreating this um, ink drop or smoke style effect uh, in After Effects. That confused me because I said the word effects a lot. Um, let's get started. Uh, as you can see, it's basically we've taken some ink through water, ink dropping through water footage, could be smoke, could be anything you want really, um, and applied it to some masks in the shape of the word tip tut. Now this can be anything you want and this effect can be applied to further effects later down the line to enhance it or move it on from this. We're just going to stick with this because otherwise it's going to get quite a long tutorial um, and we want to keep this short and sweet. So first thing we want to do is recreate our composition. Um, let me just drop down this little menu here. And if we go up to new composition, um, we'll call this one um, ink and make sure it's the right settings, 920 by 1080, 60 FPS, because that is the FPS of the footage that I've got. 20 seconds seems fine, more than enough. And you can see we'll drop it in here. So we'll put that in the tutorial folder here. Um, now, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a solid background. Now, I've got basically an off-white um, solid here. Sorry, I'm typing with one hand. Um, there we go, I've got an off-white solid for the background, which we can now lock. We're not really going to do anything else with that. Uh, the next step is to obviously choose the word which you want. Um, I'm going to make some black text. Doesn't matter about the color, really. Um, and I'm going to type in the word tip tut. Now I'm going to quickly realign the anchor point to the center. This is a plugin, um, but you can just click. Oh dear, I've got a couple locks on. Um, you can just click this and then click the pan behind tool and that realigns the center itself. Um, I highly recommend purchasing and downloading Motion 2. Um, it is wonderful. I'm actually going to do a tutorial all about it. Um, well, all about that and uh, Ease and Wiz, which are the two plugins that I use all the time. As you can see, I've even got them on my... Um, interface just as default now um, okay so that looks pretty good maybe we'll scale up the text a bit more um, and now we've got the word tipped up now we're not actually going to use this layer what we're going to do is um, right click and choose uh, create shapes from text now that will actually give us um, a new layer with outlines um, instead of that we're going to want to keep um, this tipped up text layer just in case in case it balls up and then we need it for later if you look inside here, we've actually got six letters on one layer. What we actually need is six layers with one letter reach. So unfortunately, the only way I can think to do this without downloading external scripts is to copy and one, two, three, four, five, paste them. Now, if we remove visibility on all of those except the bottom one, what you can actually then do is go in individually, double click on each shape and delete the alternatives that you don't need. So this first one will be... Um, T, so we can rename that T, and then we visible the next layer. Oops, don't move it. <laughs> um, get rid of everything else except the I. And then if you want to, you can rename that I, and keep doing that all the way along. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly cut this section out and we'll see you when I'm done. Okay, we are back and we've got all of our letters on individual layers. Uh, I'm just gonna select them all and quickly realign to center again very useful ding oh i think we've actually we've messed one up um this has got no contents this t layer now which is why we keep the original and um, because all we need to do again is just create shapes from layers because we balls that up um, rename it t and then go inside oops make sure we're on the right layer and delete everything we don't need see there's a perfect reason for why you keep the original because it's all in the same position it's ready to go and I just fixed my own mistake. Okay, perfect. So um, basically now you're gonna wanna go and grab your piece of footage, um, which I've got here. It's called highqual.mp4, just means high quality. You're gonna wanna drag that onto your composition, place it just below the first T. Um, now, if you move this cursor along, you'll see, for example, that the smoke or the ink, sorry, I keep calling it smoke. Um, the ink comes into the screen and starts to expand. Now, if you know roughly where that ink is going to go. Um, you can actually do this in a in a very easy way. You can line up one piece of footage um, and have it overlay all six pieces of text. Um, I've actually got one ink um, piece of footage per letter, just so I have a bit more control. So basically, what you're going to want to do is choose the frame in which you want the um, animation not to be finished because it doesn't technically finish, but the time that you want all the letters to be the most visible on screen. 
um, and then simply align the footage behind it um, so that it mainly covers the letter. Like there, for example, we can tell that there's going to be a lot of black over all of the letter. Um, and then you're going to want to just basically repeat that process. So you can duplicate that. Um, it's important that you stick the next piece of footage below the next letter. Um, and if you want to, you can actually lock off the other two so you can't affect them. Um, and then just move the position, the scale, the timing of the uh, footage around. Say, for example, like that, maybe. Maybe we can twist it a bit more so it comes in from a different angle. And there we go. Um, then we can duplicate that again. Put that under the P layer. Lock those other two. Um, it doesn't matter that these are over overlapping. That's not something you have to worry about at all. Um, we can do that. And that looks like that's about good to go. Um, I'm not being particularly careful with these because uh, I could be here all day lining them up, basically. Um, and honestly, there's no need just to illustrate the point. This is plenty good enough. Um, we know that that's fine. That works all right. So we'll duplicate that. Lock those other two so we don't accidentally change them around. Shrink that back down. Let's have it maybe coming in this way instead. A nice, small, detailed one. Uh, scale that up a bit, perhaps, so that it covers most of the U. That's probably good. Duplicate it for the last time. Lock off those two and move that around to the T. We won't have that be the same there. We'll twist it. So we get something like that. Now this looks a horrible mess at the moment, um, but luckily this isn't what we're sticking with. In fact, if we just quickly unlock all of these, um, what we're going to do is if you click on the layer below your footage and come over here to the track mat uh, panel, if you don't see that, you're on the wrong mode, just toggle switches and modes down there. You're going to want to change this to alpha mat I, which basically um, means only show on this piece of footage in the mask shape of the layer above it. So for example, here on the first piece of high quality footage, we want to alpha mat the layer above it. And what that does is that hides the layer above it um, and makes this layer here appear only in the areas which the layer above has content. So we can just go through one by one and alpha mat the layers above. Um, obviously, uh, alpha inverted mat would show everywhere, but that there's content on the layer above. So that's just a bit of information for you. And there we go. So you can see as the smoke um, comes in, it fills up the letters, but only in the positions of the letters. Um, however, if we go back to the beginning, you can see that where um, the background of the footage is white, it still shows slightly. So what we actually want to do is if we double click inside this footage here and we come along to color key um, in the effects and presets panel, this is a um, outdated um, tool, as you can see, this is obsolete, but it's still useful. I want to drop that on there and we want to change this color to white. Now this will start showing you where uh, basically what's happening, we're removing the background. Now if this is a bright green background, it would work better because obviously it's meant for green screening. But you can turn the color tolerance way up and that means everywhere that's pure black won't be seen. Um, so we can thin the edges a bit and you see that sort of crops it and helps a bit. Um, we don't want that too much, so just maybe want to feather around mess around with the feather, perhaps put that to negative three. Um, and then the color tolerance up to maybe 250. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, it just has to be good enough. Now if we pop back to smoky text, um, we can see that I've got a bit of a graphical bug because my computer's working too hard. <laughs> so we want to go to ink because I was on a competition, it wasn't working too hard. Sometimes if you uh, go to a competition, you can't see it, you should scroll in and out um, and it'll appear. That's just because your graphics card's working too hard. There I happen to actually be on the wrong composition. That's my fault. Um, so you can see that uh, on the T now, the text is actually, the white background has actually disappeared completely. So you guessed it. All you've got to do is copy and paste that to the rest of the high quality .mp4 videos. And if we just quickly ran preview, um, this will probably take a little while. So we'll jump back in when it's done. Okay, that's plenty of seconds. 10 is more than enough. And um, since we set six to be where we wanted it to be perfectly visible or as visible as we wanted, just trim that down. And now if we ran preview, you can see that our text fills up as the ink moves onto the screen.
Um, and that's really all there is to it in this uh, particular tutorial. Like I said, you can take this technique further, have it fading in and out, have the letters completely block out. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you find this useful. Um, I really like this effect. I think it looks great. Um, if you want more tutorials like this, do let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. So I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I will see you next time. Bye. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.